I'm going to sing and dance and carry on and act silly till I just kick it like I told you. Not long ago, Debbie Reynolds talked about the prospect of her own death in a now poignant interview. She had just published a best-selling memoir, Unsinkable, and told me her final wish. I'd like to clear this all up before I kick the bucket. Because, you know, when you're gone, right, everybody says what they want to say. Don't say things like kick the bucket. I can't believe I'm still here. Are you kidding? It's 65 years in show business. Just singing in the rain. Just singing in the rain. Debbie Reynolds burst into the national scene at age 19 in one of the greatest musicals ever made, Singing in the Rain. Good morning. Good morning. She went on to a legendary career that spanned seven decades, including the epic How the West Was Won. The stars, the stars, oh how bright they'll shine. And an Oscar-nominated performance in the unsinkable Molly Brown. That ship may be down, but not me. I'm unsinkable. It's amazing to me that I'm in show business because no one in my family is from show business. So for me to have been lucky enough to land in the golden era in this really wonderful business, it's just sort of like a, an out-of-body experience. Debbie's marriage to pop singer Eddie Fisher ended in one of the great scandals in Hollywood history. Eddie abandoned Debbie to marry her best friend, screen siren Elizabeth Taylor. Debbie revealed that Frank Sinatra, of all people, had warned her not to marry Eddie Fisher. He said, I don't want you to marry Eddie. And of course, I was rather aghast at that. He said, I don't want you to marry a singer because you can't trust him. They all cheat. All singers cheat. Years later, Debbie was able to forgive Liz. They reconciled on a transatlantic ocean crossing. I decided in my room to send her a note stating, this is silly, let's get together and have dinner and talk about it. Married three times, Debbie candidly admitted she had terrible taste in men. I still believe in love, but it just doesn't happen to me. It isn't that I don't believe in it and that it, it's wonderful if you can really find someone that adores you, but that hasn't happened for me. And so I think three strikes and that's enough of that. Debbie and her daughter Carrie Fisher had a turbulent relationship. They didn't speak for 10 years. Carrie wrote about it in her novel Postcards from the Edge made into a movie with Meryl Streep as the Carrie character and Shirley MacLaine as Debbie Reynolds. The From the time I was nine years old, you gave me sleeping pills. That was over-the-counter medication, and no. I gave it to you because you, you couldn't give children sleep. sleeping pills. They but they reconciled and even performed together. Happy days are here again. She was worried about Carrie when I spoke with her. These words seem so heartbreaking today. How's Carrie doing? She's doing very well now. She had sort of a, she is a manic depressive, you know, so sometimes she has a breakdown. Is it tough for you as, a, I know it must be, as a mom to read, read, family, read for news the family. stories? Family, family. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you worry about them, you know, are they going to make it? Good morning. Even in her 80s, she could still belt out a tune. Good morning, good morning, it's great to stay up late. Good morning, good morning to you and you and you and you and everybody. Thank you.